what's up everyone it's Brian for gumballtech.com and in this video well this video is part two for the uh, Mac triple boot uh, in the first video you installed refit and you partitioned your hard drive into three partitions so what we're going to do in part two is get Windows installed now you could actually use Vista if you'd like uh, for this demonstration I'm just going to be using Windows 7 here so, what you need to do is turn off your computer, uh, hold the Alt key on your keyboard, aka Option, and then uh, push the Power button while still holding that button. Then you should uh, get to this menu where you have Refit and Windows. Now, you may have one other one there too, so don't worry about it. Once you get to this screen, go ahead and put in your Windows disk. Here is mine for Windows 7. Then after a little while you should see two new entries pop up on your screen. Okay so here they are uh, Windows and EFI boot. Ignore EFI boot and double click on Windows. And then when you do that, it will uh, load all the files from the DVD for the operating system and the installer. It could take anywhere from one to two minutes, so just be patient. And then you'll be taken to the installer screen, which you are looking at right now. So go ahead and choose your various language options things like that and then click on next and then install now go ahead and accept the license terms and then go to custom advanced now here is where you need to remember the sizes of your partitions and the labels um, once you've located the partition that you want to install Windows 7 on, it's usually the fourth one in the list. It should be Disk 0 Partition 3. That is if you made three partitions in Disk Utility in the previous video. Because the first one is for the EFI, the second one is for OS X, the third one will be for Ubuntu, and then the fourth one is for Windows. So click on it, and then go to Drive Options Advanced. Click on Format, and then click on OK to format the partition to NTFS, which is the file system that Windows uses. Now, I'm not going to do that because I already have everything set up. Now, after the format is done, it shouldn't take more than maybe 5-10 seconds. Click on Next, and the installation will begin. Now, don't, don't go away from, from your computer. It should take maybe 20-30 to 30 minutes to install. And the installer will have to restart your computer maybe once or twice during this time. And if you're not near the computer to tell it to boot into Windows, it'll automatically boot into OS X. That's not really a problem. If you go into OS X, just go ahead and shut it down and turn it back on. And then when you turn on your computer, you should see a new entry in Refit which looks like a Windows Windows logo. Okay, so when you turn on your computer, now your Windows logo will be different than mine. You should it should be blue, I believe. Um, in video 4 or whatever, I should be showing you how to make your icons look like this and get rid of the extra text and options around these. So go ahead and select your Windows one and push enter. It, it will then begin to boot Windows. And then after you go through the small registration process, you know, your uh, username, password, time options, things like that, you should get to your desktop. And you may notice that your resolution isn't what it's supposed to be. So what you have to do now is install all the boot camp drivers and files, which you can get from your copy of Snow Leopard right here. So just take out the DVD, put it in your optical drive, 
and an auto run pop up should show up, which installs boot camp and the appropriate drivers. Now, once you do that, and shouldn't take more than four minutes, it will restart. Make sure that you restart into Windows. And go ahead and run Apple Software Update. This updates the boot camp to the latest version, which I believe is 3.1. So, you have Windows installed on your Mac. Now, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments like usual. I'll try to help the best I can without actually being there. And so in the next video, I'll show you how to install Ubuntu. And then in the fourth video, I'll show you how to get everything working nicely in all the operating systems. So again, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments for the video. And you just learned how to install Windows on your Mac. So... Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.